Hey guys, it's Rachel, aka Brenna Adara. This is kind of my um, little October um, um, update video, kind of like a little like these are the projects I'm going to be working on because I don't have a lot of time in between school and college applications to make videos or post blogs. So I'm going to start off with my Samhain altar. A lot of my normal stuff is still in the back there. I don't have anywhere else to put it, but I have a card that my aunt gave me, um, a cinnamon pumpkin candle with my little skull bracelet around it. I have these skull candle holders and my little spider guy that my aunt gave me a few years ago. And the altar cloth, I found material in my mom's room. It was like, you know, bright orange and the black and white stripes and I thought it was very fun. It reminded me of The Nightmare Before Christmas, which is one of my favorite movies ever, so I went with it. Um, some new things on here, well, a new thing on here, is I made a scrying mirror to use for Halloween. Um, my little group and I, Mark, Morgan, and I, possibly one of our other friends, will be using them to do some shadow self work, which is kind of looking at the um, darker or more negative aspects of yourself and figuring out what you want to change and how you're going to do it and things like that. So it should be really cool. Um, we'll be doing that this Saturday before Samhain because we don't have the day of Samhain off of school. We usually do. I don't know why we don't have that day or the first off anymore, but it's whatever. I'm taking it off because I can, but um, these are really actually... But anyway, um, scrying mirrors are actually pretty easy to make. You can buy expensive ones offline. Or you can do what I did, and this was actually a picture frame that I got at the dollar store. Really simple. It's got the, you know, redwood frame. And what I did is I took the glass out of it, and I painted the back of it with black acrylic paint. I'm working on another one here for an art book I'm making for a class I'm in. Which I'll show you right now. It's kind of neat. The original title of the book was Into the Labyrinth. It was kind of this weird, like, sci-fi dragon, I don't know, it was weird, book. And this is what I've done with the inside. I have my name in, like, three different media. This is actually The Fool from the Druidcraft Tarot. I photocopied it and then colored it, the hair, and added glasses to it to make it look more like me. And then I have this little door that says Into the Wild. And then underneath it says Into the Labyrinth. And underneath it, the door opens. And then this is the Fool from the Wildwood Tarot, which again I colored to match the other one and look like me. And then this quote was already in the book and I thought it was really neat and worked well with the theme, so I kept it in there. And then on the next page, oh don't tell me they're sticking together, okay there we go. I have the pinnacle that my mom gave me in a window, some oracle cards I got when I was maybe nine or ten. This quote from another page in the book was, will you return to the high realms? And then this is literally how my bedroom used to look like. Big tree painted in the wall, on the wall, yellow, crazy bright bedding. It was kind of ridiculous. But right here it says powerful magic exists. And this page is all basically about, you know, how I started getting into witchcraft and stuff like that. So the whole book is basically going to be about my spiritual journey, and I'm sure I'll get more ideas for it as I go through my year and a day as well. Um, other projects, I'll be doing, oh jeez, I just dropped my, almost dropped my iPod. Um, other projects I'll be working on, um, I have the, the full moon in October is Tuesday, it's Saturday right now, and my mentor, my aunt, told me that I should, you know, look at the, you know, associations with the day, not only just the full moon in Aries, but Tuesday, the numerology of the day, all of that jazz, and come up with a little spell to do on it. So, full moon in Aries is a good time for working on creative projects, um, leadership, divination, you know, because it's getting into October and closer to Samhain. Um, leadership enemies in conflict, and Tuesday is a Mars day, too. So you got, like, you know, that energy is just very intense. And the numerology for the day is 3 and 7. 
3 and 7 are both, you know, extremely magical numbers, so I'm planning on using them in my ritual. Haven't figured out how yet, but I have this red candle that I'm going to be burning for leadership, and it's kind of going to be like my little dedication to actually leading the group and whatnot. So, it'll be really cool. And then I'm going to re-cleanse and dedicate all of my tools well, you know, most of my tools for the Witch's New Year. I have my little staff and broomstick and whatnot I need to bless too. And I actually got some ritual garb in my closet that I'm going to be blessing. So, it's kind of what I'll be working on. I'll try to keep, you know, updated and keep posting. But, like I said, I've been really busy lately, so videos are going to be scarce for a while. So, that's about it. Blessed be, guys.